Hey everybody, it's time to America. Here we are back on our plane with a mission to upgrade it. How bad is a blowback from Benghazi? We have to promise to bring Coben back in one piece when we're done. Is it useful? He's strung out, pissed off, and a major pain in the ass, but I think he's got some intel we can use. Awesome. By that's the way, Sam, let me know that's what I like to hear. That There's a lot of room for improvements around here. Yeah, let's look at some plane upgrades. Um, the radar upgrades are super good. Let's get one of those. Charlie's Workshop uh, unlocks new guns. Uh, the Holding Cell also unlocks new guns. They just suck. Um, they're really good in multiplayer. So there's a co-op element to this. And there's also a... Um, competitive ele element to this. So you, you can do Spies versus Mercs. Yeah, they're, they're probably useful in that, but they're not useful in the campaign. Charlie's weapons are, but they take a bit more uh, cash. So we're going to, instead of spending this money on, on that, we're going to spend this money upgrading guns. And buying guns and gear. Assuming that it loads. There we are. Alright, so customize gear. Tactical. First thing we're going to do is buy that sniper rifle. Second thing we're going to do is check the... Oh, we do have enough for the sonar pulse goggles. And... Let's check the... Do we need a, a silencer for the sniper rifle or does it come with one? It comes with one. Okay. So now we're basically broke. So let's go and do a mission. We're probably only going to do one mission per... Um, thing, just because they, they do get pretty time-consuming. Uh, let's do Hawk and Seafort. Uh, actually, let's do the Yacht. So these are, you can play these as co-op, and I might try and bring in Rich, or Ryan, or Kaylee to play some co-op missions. Grim, what you got for me? But in the meantime, we'll do them solo. The billionaire data thieves who live on fabulous mega yachts. That depends. Why do you ask? Because we've got a live one. Ariel Dresner Ooh. handles secure transactions for all sorts of undesirables. Terror groups, data thieves, you name it. I do name it. And living on the yacht gives them legal cover. Clever. That's where we come in. Get on board and tap his phone. We'll have an ear on half the global black market. It's worth the risk. I'll pack your water wings. So everybody's got missions. Charlie's missions are defense missions, typically. Like, there you kill a lot of dudes. Briggs's missions are all co-op. Samantha, er, Samantha uh, Anna's missions are stealth missions. And Coben has missions eventually, too. We already did what we need to do with our gear. Uh, Coben has missions eventually too, and those are kill missions. Which is awesome. So, don't mind me. We're just sneaking around. And then, so there's a, there's a co-op route here where you can like boost each other up and stuff. Hey! We're actually going to go around the side here. Now, you if you get caught, the mission... If I get caught, the mission is over. But... I can... Oh! Oh, good. For a second, I was worried... Uh, because I thought I might have screwed up and knifed a high-value target. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I didn't mean to put a bullet through the TV. Don't mind us. 
This guy's never gonna know I was here. Seriously, secret as fuck. Uh, let's uh, throw a noisemaker. What is that sound? Spoilers, I have done this a bunch of times. On account of, I had to redo it a bunch of times. Um, there are a lot of really cool stealth options, though. Uh, sneaking around and getting up on the rail so that they can't see you. We'll do, we'll do a stealth, uh, some stealth versions of this, too. The other thing is these missions are repeatable, which I find odd. But it makes sense, I guess, from the co-op aspect. Like, you want to be able to do them co-op and have fun. And... So, seven hostiles undisturbed, which is everyone else on the boat. Now. Let's go upstairs through a window. Right? We can do that? Yes. Alright. Clambering up to the top. So that's the phone I've got to tap. I can get in through here, but there's all these laser grids. And there's a dude back here. And this guy's a drone controller. So he's got drones patrolling in here. Alright. I'm about to make his life very difficult. There we go. So now, my goggles work again. Now I'm actually going to switch to sonar goggles. Cool. Sneaky like. Oh, it's stairs. Now, let's see if we can get in. Here, there we are. So we've got these laser grids. And there's a couple of ways to do it. I think actually that is probably the easiest way. See, there's the drone. Look at us go. It's a lot easier the millionth time you do it. That's two data taps online and active. We've got one more to go. And I think, yeah, there's a secret in here. Those guys. Oh, 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 That man is very large. And he has, a, like, full body armor, so I can't just pistol him out. So, what we're gonna do... Is... Sneak up on him. There we are. Climb up to the top, tap the thing. Stealthy as fuck. 
This billionaire will never know that I was on his yacht. There's only like nine bodies out here. There are apparently three people I didn't find. And I will leave them be. Maybe. Yeah. Can I get down from here? No. I can't just drop and kill myself. That's unfortunate. Alright. We'll go down the stairs. Do do don't mind me. No one pay attention. We'll go up the front here. Yeah, so if you have a co-op teammate, you can get up here. And you can bypass some of the room. Just hop over the edge. Drop down. What is this? I guess it's a covered swimming pool hot tubby thing? I don't know. I don't have a yacht. I don't know yachts. Sorry. The winner is us! Got there! Looks like our wire transfer's been received. Uh, we still got time. Let's do one more. Just sort of marshalling that initial cash. Hawken Seafort. This one's pretty quick. Talk to me about that side op that you're running. Yeah. <laughs> I've been tracking the engineer's online presence. Sixty percent of It would be neat if this like contributed in some way to the main quests, but it does not. But at the same time you don't have to do a bunch of side ops before you unlock the main quest. What's the site? Just off the English coast, it's a converted sea fort. The guy who owns it is making millions hosting this kind of stuff. Mm, no way like see it. trace, canal. Without being spotted, or his people will wipe everything. I like that there's this notion that an attack on American soil, um, assuming that, of course, that America is admitting, admitting that Guam is American soil. Uh, see last video where we where I talked briefly about um, American citizens, who is, which are everyone who lives in Guam, can't vote in presidential elections, have no members of Congress, etc. Uh, let's upgrade our guns a bit. Um, specifically our sniper rifle. I'm gonna give it a high bar scope. Armor piercing ammo. And we'll go with weight balance and recoil buffer so it's steady. And are there any more upgrades for the pistol? Yes. All about that accuracy. Starting our descent, we're flying dirty. Cool. I don't know what flying dirty means, but I assume it means that we have a plane with a whole bunch of guns and one cri at least one criminal on it. Probably more. But yeah, like the notion that an attack on American soil just means we can do whatever we want. Like, no diplomacy, no, no nothing. I thought security was light. Everything's relative. Now, access points for the data feeds are in the top of the structure. It's mostly apartments up there, but you should find what you need. Got it. Don't mind me. Just shooting dudes who are doing their jobs. They don't know what's being hosted here or anything like that. <laughs> Everything is quiet. Oops. 
Sonar, everybody. It's basically magic. Didn't get a shot off. We're still good. In the showroom, Grim. I'm hacking the router now. There we go. All right. Hacking stuff. Everything checks out. Objective complete. Hmm. Sam Fisher, sticky like glue. That didn't sound good. Oh, it's probably fine. Dog. What? Huh. The file says he owns a prize winning show dog. Oh dear. That wasn't like a guard dog, that was just his dog, and we're all just sort of fine with that. We think it's funny. We're awful. Dude. I got real bad news for you. That was it. The laptop is over there. How do I get it? Oh, there's a door. I don't see anybody. Ah, oh, camera. I didn't see the camera spotlight. Sad face. They are sufficiently short that there are no checkpoints either. Seriously. I feel real bad for you guys. Not so bad that I'm not about to shoot you, deal for the sake of my convenience. So, I mean, not, I guess, actually bad. But you're just doing your jobs. You got hired to do a thing. This isn't even, this isn't even like the way the game goes though. This is laziness. You can do this mission without killing anybody. I can't do this mission without killing anybody. Like, so there, there is a moral playthrough of Splinter Cell where you don't kill anybody. There we go. The file says he owns a prize-winning show dog. Purebred. Also, you have a plane in here, dude. All right. Now let's remember that. Let us remember that there is a camera there.
Now, I can just shoot the camera, but somebody will come and check on it. Oh, I don't know what that was that I just shot. I mean, because the alternative is I can just... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, that wasn't even on a mission objective. It was just a blacklist laptop. The only thing keeping those lasers from being on is this guy's body. Now, admittedly, he ain't going anywhere, but... Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Do, do, do. I don't like that the laser controls are always in sight and there's no consequences for just shooting them. Because dodging, the first couple times I did it, I dodged all the lasers and I was like Mission Impossible style, and now I'm just like. Data tap is active. Just one more to go. All right, let's go upstairs. Conveniently, there's a ladder up here. Whoa! He chose the moment of his death to show off his awesome dance moves. Whoops! Well, folks, we killed the high value target. Um, sadly, he was not bulletproof. So I guess what you do is you like work your way you, you work your way around the edge and take him out and then either hack and leave or um you know, I guess you kill everybody from your sniper spot. But if you can make it all the way around here and do the hack then you're probably fine. Quiet and get to the docks for exfiltration. Roger that. Don't mind me. Everybody's dead. Fill up my stuff and leave. I want to see the plane just like roar in. Sadly, no. Alright. No assault. We didn't do any combat stuff. So, we'll actually, we'll do the next story missing next time.